Alright, so I got some more great stuff sent to me by subscribers, and I decided to go ahead and do another unboxing. I keep saying that I've sort of attempted to get away from doing unboxings, but sometimes some cool things just come up and you just feel like sharing that. So I actually decided to do a vlog. I was going to basically talk about the uh, Rational Review community. It's kind of like an appreciation more than anything else. Uh, I could talk and probably do would have a lot to say about the uh, recent problems with the uh, USDA and customs and stuff like that. But I want this to be a positive video, so we'll save that for another time, if ever. And I don't believe that those sirens are for me, but maybe that's a sign that I shouldn't be talking about that. So anyway, my intention was to do the vlog first and talk for about five or six minutes, or however long it took and then go ahead and open these boxes. But I realized that's going to be like torture for viewers to have these boxes sitting here and me talking about how great they are and not opening them. So instead we're going to start off with the unboxing and then for anybody that cares to stick around, I'll talk a little bit after that. So a big part of the reason for doing this unboxing is to highlight uh, some aspects of the Rational Review community. And another example is this box right here, which I'm not going to open in this video. I actually have already opened it. Uh, but this is another example of something sent from a subscriber. So his like three examples right here, just randomly. And this one actually isn't rations, but in one of my other vlogs that I did, I mentioned that, you know, I mean, like everybody, uh, money is an issue. Nobody ever has enough money. And uh, part of the reason I ne have never been able to upgrade my videos as far as quality because of my camera, my software, and my computer is basically because of the fact that I just don't have enough money to do that. And I had also mentioned lighting equipment. And the subscriber, she's Miss Castrella on YouTube. And... She actually has a, a YouTube channel called Let's Make a Little, and she hasn't been able to do videos in a couple of years, and she saw my video and contacted me and said that she had some lighting equipment that she would give me. I basically just had to help her out with the shipping. And she sent me this box that's full of all kinds of lighting equipment, which I haven't yet had a chance to figure out and start using, but hopefully soon the uh, lighting and video quality of this channel will improve, thanks to Miss Castrella. And as far as these two boxes, which now I have talked a lot and haven't yet gotten around to open them, this is going to be a little bit, uh, it's not quite a wedding. Uh, There's something old and something new. There won't be, as far as I know, there won't be anything barred or anything blue. But uh, that was another kind of reason for wanting to do this, because it's sort of going to be a fun look at something that's pretty vintage, pretty on, on the old side, and something that I believe is going to be very new and very fresh. But i got to open these up and find out for sure. So this first box, we'll go with the old and then the new. This first box comes from Mike Ziegler. And you can see here that he actually paid $30.75 to have this shipped. It's a priority, and it obviously wouldn't fit in a standard priority box, so he had to put this into this box. And this is stuff that he had bought, so he already spent money on this, and he sent it to me, two-day priority, and spent that much money just to send it. This box is from Tracy Phillips, and we'll get more into that pretty soon. But Mike, uh, in addition to being a dedicated watcher of the videos, he also has um, helped out in the past, too. He actually is the one that sent me the keto box that I reviewed probably about a year and a half ago. And in this case, he actually had some rations he wanted to share. He wrote to me on Facebook and let me know that he basically got a haul of vintage MREs, and I think he had TOTMs, too. Then he sent some pitches and let me pick a few that I might be interested in, and sent this. So without further ado, I think we should start opening this up. see what Mike sent. And it's also worth mentioning that I'm obviously very thankful to Mike Ziegler for sending this along, uh, but I also want to acknowledge where he got these from. He bought these from a veteran, and obviously I'm always more than happy to thank veterans for their service. This particular veteran, I only know his first name is Eddie, but Mike gave me a little bit of information about him, and I'm hoping that maybe he'll be watching this and he'll know I'm talking about him. He was in the Army. His MOS was 13E or 13 Echo, which apparently is a cannon fire direction specialist. He had two deployments to Iraq, and he spent 33 years in the Tennessee Army National Guard. So, Eddie, thank you very much for your service, and I'll also say thank you for holding on to these rations and selling some of them to Mike. Okay, let's see what we got here. So, there's any note or anything. It's like just packing stuff. Oh, these are all like little mystery things. They're all, they're all individually 
packed in here and it looks like there is a note. So, let me get these out of here. And see if this is a note or something else. That's just packing. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to have five rations to look at. Let's take a quick look at this note. All right, so uh, yeah, this is the note from Mike. And uh, this is a, one potential spoiler in here. But uh, So I know one of the things that's in here because I just read this. But other than that, I'm not exactly sure what he's going to be. But he's basically telling a story about he said he's a pound cake hound. And with all those old rations he got, he basically was looking for a nice vintage pound cake. He says it took him two so-so cakes to get to a true diamond in the rough out of a 1997 chicken stew. So I'm glad to hear that he, uh, he got a good one. And hopefully we'll be getting some good stuff out of this in the reviews. It's also this too, this uh, envelope that says random on it, which I wonder if that's related to this. This uh, little styrofoam thing here also says random. Uh, it's a little bit of a mystery here. Let's see what this is about. <laughs> yes. Well, I guess that does apply to me. Official U.S. taxpayer. That's a pretty cool patch. All right, thank you, Mike, and let's see what we have here. Let's get these out of these bags here. All right, let me start with this one here because it's peeking out. This is a Warnock Company, and I believe these... Uh, so let me bring the camera down a little bit. I believe these are all going to be pre-2008 MREs. So here we have the older style. This one is menu number seven, uh, sorry, menu number 17, beef teriyaki. This is one, I believe I've reviewed this once, but um, it's something I did kind of want to try again. Uh, and this is going to be a bit of a mystery because there's no date code on here. It looks like beef teriyaki was only produced between, I believe it was 2001 and 2004, so it's in that range. And Mike wasn't really sure how these, how well these are stored. It sounded like it was kind of hit or miss, the ones that he's been trying. Like, uh, for instance, that thing with the, the pound cake. Um, definitely everything isn't pristine, but some of the stuff seems like it is uh, quite good. I'm going to actually hold that one off. That uh, is a TOTM. And this one, this one does have a date code on it. 9124. So I believe it's going to be 2009. I don't think it's a, well, it's, yeah, it's definitely not a 2019. So we have a 2009 TOTM. I haven't done one of these in a while. And this one is beef enchilada and sauce. That's one I can revisit for the uh, MRE review redo because I did a, um, a genuine MRE one of that once, but it was a long time ago and I don't really even remember it. So I think I might revisit that entree via a TOTM. And let's see, There's one TOTM in the rest of our MREs. Here is another pre-2008. This is menu number 16, escalloped potatoes with ham. That's one I don't believe I've ever had in my life. Uh, another one with no date code. So this one could be a fun mystery, but I actually just looked it up and uh, doing a little bit of detective work on MRE Info. It looks like the last year this was made was 1996, and that was the first year for the tan bags. So even without a date code, that pretty much dates this to 1996. So this is an older one than this one. So we are... Uh, we got kind of a variety here, from the uh, mid-90s to late 2000s, 2009, I believe, so far. And here's menu number six, Frankfurter's Beef. And um, I have a long story to talk about uh, the Four Fingers of Death, the old brown bag special. That's something I've been meaning to review for a long time. I probably would have been the first person on YouTube to do it, but I kept putting it off, and now basically everyone's done it, and I haven't. Uh, but I've actually never had uh, tan bag frankfurters, so it'd be interesting to compare that to the um, the old, well, this is old too, but the older Four Fingers of Death. And it looks like because this is the tan bag, this has to be from 96 or 97, because 97 was the last year of the smoky frankfurters. So it could have been from the same uh, case as this one. Uh, and that leaves us with the last one. And this is something I'm going to be looking forward to checking out for Thanksgiving. Uh, this is menu number 18, turkey breast with gravy and potatoes. Uh, a couple years ago I did a, um, actually the last couple years I've done uh, Thanksgiving videos having to, something to do with turkey, but this is like the ultimate, this is like the uh, MRE Thanksgiving dinner. I believe Old Smokey did this one last year or the year before. Um, so it's been done, but I've never done it. And I've also never had this menu, so that's something to look forward to. So anyway, thank you Mike. And thank you, Eddie. Thank you for your service. 
And now let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the other box. And just a couple of quick things to mention before I move on. Um, Mike had used these plastic bags for packing, and little did he know that I actually appreciate this. Nah, I was going to say almost as much as the MREs, but definitely not that much. But we actually use plastic bags for our trash, and our town has banned plastic bags, so you can't get them at the stores anymore. So that's actually very useful. And I did mention the random envelope that had the official U.S. taxpayer patch, uh, but I didn't realize that this actually, in addition to being a weird little styrofoam thing, it's actually apparently to protect the random thing that's inside. And it's one of those little stickers that you get when you vote. And this is from Tennessee. I voted. Go vote Tennessee. So I'm glad I figured that out. And anyway, this box, I believe I mentioned early on, this box actually is from Tracy Phillips. Yeah, if you're a member of the Rasmus Review community, you probably know who Tracy is. He's very active in the community. If you don't know who he is, then it's actually kind of good. I'm glad it'll give me a chance to introduce you to him. Tracy has his own channel called Tracy Phillips, easy to remember, where he does reviews. He does a lot of uh, MRE reviews and also a lot of international rations. And uh, it's a lot of connections. He's made a lot of friends. Uh, he's very, like I said, he's very active in the community. And uh, one of the things that makes his videos kind of special is that he um, actually has his granddaughter taking part in some of them and because uh, he has some videos with his uh, with his grandkids. So that's, that's pretty cool. And I definitely consider Tracy to be a friend and a valuable member of the community. And he has sent this along. It's not even part of a trade. He just told me he had he'd gotten something new and was uh, pretty excited about it and wanted to share some with me. And so he just threw him in this priority mailbox and sent it along. It's a pretty heavy box. So why don't we see what Tracy has sent. And I would, actually I would like to mention, as I'm talking about possibly introducing him to some people who might not know who he is, Tracy recently made his 100th video. It was actually a while ago and he's pretty prolific, so he's probably got 10, 15 more since then. But that was a milestone for him. And I believe right at this moment, he's about to hit 400 subscribers. So I'm gonna put a link to his channel down below. And I would definitely like anyone who hasn't been there to check him out. And whether you have or haven't, if you're not subscribed to him, I would love it if you'd subscribe to him. And it'd be kind of cool. I don't really have a lot to offer in trade. I don't really have a lot to offer as far as rations to people. But I would love to um, maybe boost his numbers a little bit. It'd be cool if we could get him up. He's, as I said, he's right about 400 now. If we could get him around 500, that would be really cool. But just something to think about. And now let's see what's in this box. Does this have one of those little pull things? No, it doesn't. So I guess we'll just have to open it up. Yeah, that looks pretty familiar, doesn't it? It's gonna be the Acadian IMP. Let's see if I can pull it out upside down. Oh, I guess we have a note too, that's good. Canadian IMP, and oh, this box is packed nicely. This only had this little bit of space, although other than that it was completely, completely filled. And here are, hopefully you can see that, two more Canadian IMPs. Something I love to do. I've done some reviews of these and I definitely love to do some more. And this is pretty nice. Uh, Tracy is actually thanking me, despite the fact that he's the one that's sending me stuff. Uh, he's thanking me for putting a link to his channel on mine. When MRE Nation was doing that gold certificate contest, Tracy actually got one of the MREs and he actually won. He actually won the silver certificate, which is the second prize, which is pretty awesome. And since the one I got wasn't a winner, I put links to a couple of ones that were so people could check them out. And he says that it's his most watched video and he gained many subscribers from it. So I had already mentioned it'd be cool if we could uh, if we could boost his numbers. I know we've already done that in the past, but I mean I have 66,000 subscribers. I would love to. I know that they're not all active. I mean they probably have you know maybe under 100 that are really active. But if we could get everybody to subscribe, I think we could uh, give him a nice another nice little boost. So thanks a lot, Tracy. I really appreciate it. And now let's see what we have. Oh, look at this, it's poutine. This is one that I have been wanting to try. I know that uh, Steve's reviewed it and there's been a couple other reviews, and I believe it's actually pretty disappointing, but nonetheless, it's something I really want to try. One of my favorite uh, Canadian dishes, and something that seems like it would be hard to pull off in a ration, and apparently it is because it doesn't seem like it's all that great, but that's a 2018 menu number 15 poutine. Let's get a little. And we also have a menu number 16. 2018 spaghetti and meatballs 
that's another one I've never had. It sounds pretty plain and simple, but um, it's great to get uh, one of those staples and something I've never had. So there's two I've never had. And then the final one is actually pulled pork, another menu I've never had. And this is the thing that's pretty amazing to me. It's menu number 12 from 2019. It's from this year. So this is the freshest IMP that I've ever gotten. I've never gotten one within the year that they were produced. So I'd like to wrap up by sending out a huge thank you to both Tracy and Mike for sending me all this stuff. And I do have, I'm definitely planning on reviewing all of this, but if there's anything in here that you really want to see done, you know that the uh, turkey with gravy and potatoes is going to be for Thanksgiving, but the rest of the stuff is all kind of up for grabs as far as what's going to be first and what's going to be last. So if any of these menus really stick out to something you want to see, whether it's a vintage uh, beef teriyaki or frankfurters, or if it's a new IMP from 2018 or 2019, uh, feel free to put down in the comments uh, what you'd like to see, and I mean, it's all going to get reviewed anyway. But I decided I'm going to go ahead and put off the uh, the vlog. This is going to be long enough as it is, and I kind of kind of talked about it. I mean, the the community is a great thing. I mean, it's that's basically all I was going to do is talk about kind of the history, how it sort of developed, and where we're at today. But um, you know, I think uh, everybody knows it's a great community. So I guess that's going to be it for this video. But thank you for watching, and stay tuned for some great reviews. And one last time, thank you to Mike, and thank you to Tracy. I really appreciate it.